If the morning is male and the evening is female, two spirit people are the dusk. They're the in-between. I grew up with a genuine sense of being fragmented. You know, you're always not enough of something for someone or too much of something for someone. Growing up in Philly, there was no re native representation. There was no native anything. As a singer, songwriter, and producer, it's a blessing, really, to be able to speak truth or to educate. And I believe very much where words fail, music speaks. When I was about three, my mom and my uncle got into a fight because I was singing a Diana Ross song. It was in my grandmother's kitchen. I was sitting right there at the end of the table. And he said, you don't think there's something wrong with that? You got a boy that wants to walk around singing girl songs, singing Diana Ross and, and Sandy's part from Greece. There's something wrong with that. And I remember wanting to be invisible. I grew up constantly bullied. Faggot this, queer that. I left the house in the morning to go to school when I was a moving target. And music was a safe haven for me. Now I'm all daughter of Gotham, sing every sister home, and lift our women up. Ooh, oh, oh. Everyone, yeah. I always knew I was different. I didn't know there was a word for it. It wasn't until I came to New York and found the American Indian Community House and found other two-spirit people that I was really able to embrace my native identity, find out about more who I am as a Cherokee man, as a Cherokee two-spirit. I'm male-identified, male-bodied, but there's a part of me that is very much a mother. And there's this mother instinct that I have. And for me, that's, that's the intersection. What I've always loved and appreciated about being Two-Spirit is that it, it acknowledges a spectrum of gender fluidity. To me, what Two-Spirit means and what that role means is really looking after the well-being of our youth, the healing and well-being of our elders. I've always had a continuous thread of knowing my purpose. As a native and two-spirit musician, I get to speak to our issues that are and have been constantly minimized. I know of two-spirit people who've been asked to leave powwows. They experience that sense of lateral violence and oppression from within the native community. So there's still work to be done. There's still healing to be done and that's why it's amazing and wonderful and important that there are all these two-spirit societies we do all things in a circle as Native people, and there's no hierarchy in that. No one life is more important than the other. Before colonization, there was a place in that sacred hoop for two-spirit people. And then when colonizers came here with Christianity and Western religion and demonized us and said the two-spirit people were these unclean things, we got that place taken from us, and it broke the sacred hoop. So we always say, until two spirits are allowed back in the sacred hoop, the sacred hoop will always be broken. It will inspire him even more. So I'll, without further ado, I'd like to bring up Tony Enos. What better medium to bring to nations across Turtle Island and, and sort of facilitate this healing and this honoring of our two spirit people through music? You know, you can't fix everything in the world, unfortunately. And I can't fix everything in the world. I can sing about it. I can write a song about it. So that's what I do.